Hey, I'm Kenneth Weidstah. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado. Welcome to another one of my photo talks. Today I'm going to talk about a book. It's called The Open Road by David Campani. And I don't know if you've seen this. I also want to talk about where I got it. It's a wonderful book full of people's photographs that they made while on road trips. Going all the way back to Walker Evans. See if I can show you something that would jump out. To the Americans by Robert Frank. It's era by era. Those are the 50s. Here's one from Gary Winogrand from 1964. And it's a series of photographs, but also some stories. And these are all the photographers that are represented. And the beauty of it is I didn't buy it. It came from my public library. And I don't know what your public library looks like, but I'm in a small town outside of Boulder, and the Longmont Library has a really good photography selection. And this is a wonderful book. It says $65 on it, which I didn't have to pay for. And it may be one that I end up buying down the line if I end up finding it on a sale price someday, because I really like it. But it's one of those books that what are your resources? Is there a city near you that you can get books out of and borrow and get a hold of a lot of photo books? Because I find these kind of books inspiring. I like looking at books that take me on different people's adventures and also seeing what they have to write about. And this book does that well. And the fact that it can get it at the local library, they have a whole collection of Winogrand, they have a whole collection of Friedlander, they have a really big selection of street photography, regular photography, portrait photography, fashion photography, all these books. And I certainly have a lot of photo books and I really enjoy photo books, but I don't have all of them. And sometimes when I find I'm in the mood to see something new, I'll take a ride down to the library and pick up a book or two. Now they're heavy. Some of the books that I pick up they weigh a ton, but it's worth it because I get to have it for two or three weeks and it's a kind of a thing where it's a treat to see something new and I didn't have to go out to the bookstore and buy it. And I bet there are a lot of libraries in a lot of places if you were to look and a lot of people may not think to look. And then the bigger the city, if you go into Denver, if you go into Boulder, if you go into Chicago, New York, there must be a great collection of books that are available and that's what they're made for. They're made so you can just take them home and have them and use them. And there's a fascinating thing where I think a lot of libraries nowadays are not even charging fines anymore because they realized most of the time everybody brings their books back. And the handful of times when somebody doesn't, it might be somebody who doesn't have a lot of money, somebody who made a mistake, somebody who now is embarrassed and now they tell their family hey, let's no, don't go to the library anymore. We owe money on books and we can't afford it. And then the whole family stops using the library. And they realize that that's not exactly what their intention with the fines was. They wanted it to be something that would incur some, ex, some, some cost to the user if they weren't returning it and maybe that would drive them to bring them back. But they found that most of the time people do bring them back. And it's only people who can't afford to pay a fine that end up never using the library again. And that was a bad idea. So a lot of libraries have taken away fines. They make it so you can easily renew things online. This book, I actually was in New York and it wasn't due, I don't think, but I got a notice that said they auto renewed it for me. So it's not due till the end of November. So I'm like, oh, that's great. I have a few more weeks with it. And that's the kind of thing where your library is your friend as a photographer. You can sometimes just go there Sometimes I'll just go there because I'll pick up a whole bunch of heavy books and I'll go look at them there and then I'll just leave them and not have to bother transporting them back and forth. And then sometimes bring some back. It's a great wealth of information out there and it's free. So try it. See if you have a library that might have something that is worthwhile to you. You might find that it's very inspiring. All right, that's today's photography talk. If you're enjoying these, hit the subscribe button. If you could support, hit the Patreon. Thanks to all my supporters. I'll be back next time. We'll talk more photography. As always, here's the good light.